You're watching Barry Z, and happy holidays to everybody. Here we are at City Center with the New York Gilbert and Sullivan Players. We'll be here performing our season from January 5th to 14th in the venerable old house right next door to where we're standing right now in front of our poster. Don't New York it. Gilbert and Sullivan Players. Yeah, don't miss it. Hi, everybody. Hi. 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 And happy, happy, holidays. Holidays. happy holidays. Hi, it's Barry Z from the Barry Z Show don't at City that. Center. Yeah, there you go. Hi. Talking to Albert. There you go. Bergeron. Bergeret. Bergeret. Okay who's the conductor of Gilbert and Sullivan Players, the New York Gilbert and Sullivan Players here at City Center. And what do you have in store for us this year? We have the Mikado, the Yeoman of the Guard, and the Rose of Persia from January 5 to 14 here at City Center. And why these? Why not all of them? Oh, come buy lots of tickets and we'll do them all. There we go. And stay up all night. We'll be right back after these messages. Don't go anywhere. And if you want to see great Gilbert and Sullivan, then come and see these great shows, right? You bet. Hi, I'm Montel Williams. Most of you know me as a talk show host, but I'm also an author, actor, single father of four, a fitness writer, avid snowboarder, and I'm also a medical marijuana patient. Like many of the million people who are living with multiple sclerosis, I'm in pain every single day. And sometimes my nerves are so raw that if you brushed up against me in an elevator, I'd scream. I can't sleep at night from the pain, and sometimes the spasms in my legs are so intense they will wake me up throughout the night. I've tried the strongest prescription medications available, and I'm going to tell you, they do not work. In fact, they leave me in a stupor, and most of the time, it's impossible to even live your life. Now, I've tried medical marijuana, and I'm going to tell you something, it works. If you'd like more information about medical marijuana, you can contact the Marijuana Policy Project at mpp.org or call 1-877-JOIN-MPP. Hi, it's Barry Z from the Barry Z Show at City Center talking to Albert, Erica, and David, who star in the Gilbert and Sullivan shows coming in January called The Mikado and the Yeoman. The Yeoman of the Guard, and then also a very unusual Let's move in a little. is called The Rose of Persia. Wow. That's one that nobody's ever seen. I almost guarantee that. Is this a three for one deal? Uh, well, I don't know exactly what you mean by three for one, but no, probably not. We've got three for three. three, for what? three. It's three for three. There you go. Three for three, exactly. So how long have the Gilbert and Sullivan players been around? About 33 years now. Wow. Have you been with them for 33 years? I am the founder of the company, and I'm the artistic director and also the conductor and the director for these productions this year. The artistic director, did you say? Uh, no, I'm not. No, artistic, please. <laughs> I have the best time with you. Oh, of course you do. Uh -huh. So what's going on this year? Well, we've got three shows, all of which include executioners. No, no, that, it's not... Off with the heads! Exactly. It's not scary at all, although in, in one kid's situation it is, but they're treated in very different ways. Each of them has a very unique quality. The Mikado, of course, is the one that everybody is familiar with, and the Lord High Executioner Coco in that one is the fellow who's the comedic center of the piece, and he's a sort of a sweethearted guy who gets stuck with a lot of things and is always sort of one step behind the curve on all of everything that happens. That's kind of sort of his endearing charm, his humanity. Then in The Rose of Persia, we have an executioner who carries a scimitar, since it's in, in Persia. What's a scimitar? A scimitar. Scimitar is a sword. It's the big curved cutlass with the big big handle on it that, uh, that, that is associated with Arabian culture. From Tiffany's. Well, of course, I, I made it myself, but then again, what do you want? Um, so the scimitar, and he's a kind of a goofy character and uh, has more of a problem about the fact that he has to perform weddings as well as executions, and that's more of his challenge. What about bar mitzvahs? Um, not in Persia. <laughs> It was a simpler time. We're not getting into that. It, it's the Middle East, but it's not the Middle East of today, okay? So we don't have to worry about that part of it. All right. But then, and then, of course, um, the last one is the Yeoman of the Guard, which is a more serious treatment of everything. It has a more historical context to begin with. was Gilbert and Sullivan's attempt at writing an English national opera in the 19th century. Uh, it takes place during the reign of Henry VIII, which, as we know, was a little bit gruesome. And there is a real uh, execution scene, which never actually happens, but is set up as if it was real. And the part of the executioner in that is really just a mime part of a very short and not significant part part of the show, but it just speaks to the fact that it's a more serious show and it has a more uh, historical context than the others, uh, even though it does have many moments of levity and it's not 100% of a downer. Why did you choose these three? Well, I chose them for a variety of reasons. Part of them practical uh, in terms of the productions that we have that would fit on the stage. One of them, Rose of Persia, just because it's a piece that we've only done sort of halfway once and that's very unusual, hasn't been performed professionally on a stage for over 75 years. Um, so we're really excited about that aspect of it. We do so often the pr productions of the Mikado and Pinafore and Pirates that everybody does know. We wanted to do something very unusual. So that's that one. Yeoman of the Guard, we have a production that we think fits on the stage at City Center and we haven't done it here before. And of course, the Mikado was the perennial favorite that we do almost every year. Mm -hmm. 
So that's the choice of the three shows. And they just happen to have all, all three happen to have executioners in them. Um, however, with us today, we also have two of our uh, romantic leading couples from the Yeoman of the Guard. This is Erica plays Phoebe, and um, David, my new assistant in the office, also plays Wilfred, as well as in the picture where he's the Sultan of Persia. Wow. So uh, why don't we talk to them a little bit? We'll talk to them in a second. Okay. These are performed in repertory, right? Uh, well, yes, yes, largely. Rose of Persia is a one-night-only special, but the other two are uh, in repertory quasi in that there are six Mikados and only three yeomen, so not equal proportions. Tell us, Albert, which are being performed when? Well, the opening night on January 5th is the Yeoman of the Guard. Then on Saturday the 6th, we do two performances of the Mikado, and on Sunday the 7th, back to Yeoman of the Guard. Then Tuesday the 9th, at 7 p.m., special uh, Tuesday night uh, evening, weekday evening performance of the Mikado. We have two school group performances of the Mikado at 11 a.m. on Tuesday and Wednesday. Then we uh, do Rose of Persia on the Thursday night, the 11th, the 12th, back to the Mikado, the 13th, Mikado and the matinee and Yeoman at night, and then on the 14th, our last performance of the Mikado and the matinee again. Can they buy tickets for all three? You can buy tickets for all three or any one. But you can, on each weekend, see both of the two shows that we're doing primarily in repertory. And then if you come the second week, uh, there's a group coming over from England, in fact, to see uh, the Rose of Persia in particular. But they'll catch all three of the shows in, course, in, in the course of three days. Why not do one show all the way through? Because people do want to come and see two different shows on the same weekend. It gives you more options. And we found that it was very successful last year when we did that. And why only two weeks? Um, we play as many weeks as we can sell the tickets for. We'll be fortunate if we sell enough tickets to cover our costs for the two. Why everybody loves Gilbert and Sullivan. But you don't get them all out to sell, to, to buy the tickets. If we, we, will. If, we could, if we could, we'd play all year round. You should have a permanent home here in New York. Well, a 2,500-seat theater is a little bit of a daunting task. There you go. There you go. So. Erica, tell me about your roles in these shows. I'm singing Phoebe in The Yeoman of the Guard. And tell me about Phoebe. Phoebe is 15 years old, and she is the daughter of Sergeant Merrill. Um, she is in love with Colonel Fairfax, who's the gentleman who is to be executed by said uh, executioner earlier referenced. <laughs> and David joins us now. How are you doing, Barry? Hi, David. You're tall. How tall are you? About six foot one. Wow. Yeah. Do you have to be taller for any of the roles in these shows? Um, I don't think that you have to be taller, except it works for the Sultan, which yeah. is this guy right here. So, yeah. And how many shows are you in? I'm in all three shows. All three? Wow, isn't that a stretch? It is, but I'm living Nygasp right now. I'm, I'm, I'm in the office during the day as assistant general manager, and then I'm in rehearsal almost every night with the, with the company. How do you juggle? I, I, I juggle by just showing up. Yeah. Uh, the role I'm playing in the Rose of Persia is a, is, he's got a sort of mode of a modern sensibility, democratic sensibility, and uh, it's a good show. You should come and see it. It's, it's a one night only event, and uh, it's worth, worth something different. Do we get all your characters in all three shows? I'm also understudy this uh, young man right here as the Mikado in, in the Mikado, which I've learned a lot from him in the last three years. Um, uh, so it's a pleasure to watch him always and, and to learn from him. We're going to talk to Angela now. Hello. Tell us about your roles. I'm playing Dancing Sunbeam in The Rose of Persia. She doesn't dance that much. Uh, I'm playing Dame Carruthers in uh, The Yeoman of the Guard, who is the keeper of the tower, um, so to speak. And she is in love with Sergeant Merrill, who is not in love with her. And in the story of Phoebe and Wilfred, Phoebe is trying to slow down the marriage. Dame Carruthers is doing everything she can to get married to Sergeant Merrill. Keith Jurasco now joins us here for the Gilbert and Sullivan Players. How many years have you been with the players now? This is my 28th season, Barry. Why so long? Because I love it. I love the work, I love the people, and uh, it's home. It is home, isn't it? Is home. Absolutely. I wouldn't have it any other way. So tell us the roles you play in all three of these. Well, actually, I am uh, taking the Rose of Persia off. I'm going to come and see it, like I hope everybody else will. But uh, I'm going to be in the title role of the Mikado, one of my favorite parts to do. You've done that before, right? I've done it, uh, yeah, many times before. And it's okay. great fun, and I look for it, and I enjoy it every single time. Tell me about the character. And, uh, well, of course, you know, he's the maniacal emperor of Japan who is used to having his way and uh, is uh, come to the town of Tiripu to, to look for his lost son. And, of course, the complications are... Uh, Endless. It's typical Gilbert and Sullivan, but he's a wonderful mad character. And you're in the Yeoman? I'm in Yeoman of the Guard. I played the Lieutenant of the Tower, Richard Chumley, who was the, uh, the military head of the Tower, and that's the actually only uh, historical person ever appeared to appear in, uh, in Gilbert and Sullivan. He was indeed, that person was indeed the Lieutenant uh, of the Tower under Henry VIII. Who is this lovely lady joining us now? Hi, I'm Diana Dolman. Is that your picture? But unfortunately, no, I wish that was my picture. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, in the Mikado, I'm playing Kadashaw, who has a character. Why don't you move closer in? Uh, in the Mikado. Who are you playing? 
I'm playing Kadisha, who has a, only a caricature. Yes, who has a caricature of a face. Aged, uh, lots of makeup involved. So, um, uh, yeah, and I, of course, am in love with the heroic tenor who will have none of me, uh, would rather be dead than marry me, in fact. And it's playing again when? January 5 to 14 here at City Center, 55th Street, between 6th and 7th Avenues in a wonderful, venerable old house. Tell us what rehearsal we're going to see upstairs. We're going to see a rehearsal of the Yeoman of the Guard upstairs. And we're going to have, you'll see the yeoman parading around with their halberds. And uh, let's get going because we got to get up there now. <laughs>